Facts in course 2, lesson 37, is area of a triangle, and then rectangular area, part 2. So it wants us to find the area of this triangle. Now remember, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. And remember that the height has to be perpendicular to the base. So here in my triangle, my base is going to be 5 centimeters. So I'm going to have 5 times my height. Now the height is going to be the perpendicular height to the base. So here's the base. Perpendicular to the base is your height here. Okay. Notice it's not this line here. It has to be perpendicular. So it's often shown with a dotted line. So it's going to be 5 times 4, and then you're going to divide that by 2. Okay. So that'll be 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 10 centimeters squared. Because area, we always square the label. Okay. All right. High on the wall near the slanted ceiling was a triangular window with dimensions shown. What is the area of the, ring the window? This time it wants us to do 1 half times the base times the height, which is the same as base times height divided by 2. It's just another way to write it. So here I'm going to have 1 half times my base, which is the bottom, which is 6, times my height, which is perpendicular, which is the 3. Okay. You know the 3 is perpendicular because you because it forms a right angle. Okay. So I'm going to be multiplying these fractions together. So 1 times 6 times 3 is 18, and then 2 times 1 times 1 is 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9, and my label is going to be feet squared. Alright, for the second part of, of a rectangular area, here I have an irregular shape. So Nate sketched this floor plan on his bedroom, dimensions are all in feet, all angles are right angles, what's the area of the room? If you remember before, we found the perimeter of a shape like this. Area is going to be similar. First, I have to find my missing lengths. So I do not have a number for this length or for this one. So I have to figure out what that is. So for this length, if my full area is 12, or my full length is 12, and the shorter length is 7, that means this length here has to be 12 minus 7, which is equal to 5. Okay. For the other one, my full width is 13. The shorter one is 10, which means that this length must be 13 minus 10, which is 3. Now that I have the length of each side, I'm going to go ahead and write those in. 5 and 3. I can now find the area. So to find the area, I need to divide the shape into two rectangles. There's two ways I can do it. I'm going to divide it here. Okay. So I have these two shapes, and I need to d multiply the length and the width of both these shapes. So for my small rectangle up here, I have 10 times 5, which is equal to 50 feet squared. And then for my bigger rectangle, which is this bottom portion, I have 13 times 7. Notice I didn't use 12 and I didn't use 3 because those two lengths um, are either too long or too short for the shapes I'm working with. So 13 times 7 is 91 feet squared. And I'm going to add those together. So I have 91 plus 50. Okay, 1, 9 plus 5 is 14. So my answer is 141 feet squared. Okay. The second way that you could divide up this shape is with a dotted line here. 
okay, and make this a smaller, a very small triangle and a rectangle and a very big rectangle. So for the first rectangle, which is this shape, I'm going to have 12 times 10, which is 120. And then for my small rectangle, it's going to be 3 times 7. Again, I did not use 5 or 13 in this case because 5 is too small and 13 is too big. 3 times 7 is 21. Again, I'll add them. 120 plus 21 is equal to 141 feet squared. I got the same answer both ways, so it just depends on how you want to divide it up. So this one, again, I'm finding the area of this figure. So I have to find the miss two missing sides. So if my full length is 20, this one is 14, then this length here must be 6. Okay. My full width is 10, and this width is 5, then this width must be 5 as well. So I have 5 and 6. And now I need to divide up my rectangle. Again, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you can divide it up. Okay. So we're going to, so you can divide it up here, or you can divide it up here. Don't do both. Okay. And you do the same thing we did on the last one. Now, there's another way to think of this, and that's to think that I have a bigger rectangle that this shape fits inside of. Okay. Again, we had six and five and six for those lengths. So I can actually multiply the area of my large rectangle, which is that whole is this whole thing, okay, with that piece cut out. I can multiply that whole area, which would be twenty meters times ten meters, which is equal to two hundred meters squared. Now this is too big because remember we've we've cut out this section here. So now I'm going to find the area of my small rectangle which is this little rectangle here that we're cutting out. So that's going to be 6 times 5 which is equal to 30 meters squared. Now on this one, I'm going to subtract the two rectangles. So I'm going to do 200 meters squared minus 30 meters squared, okay, which is 170 meters squared. So those are the two ways you can do it. You can either divide the square into two smaller squares, or you can find the area of the big square with the missing piece included, and then find the area of that missing piece and subtract it from it. Hey, and that's it for this lesson.